Today was day three and we are out for a walk. I don't know what we're going to talk about yet, but these are quails. It's a little late, but happy St. Patrick's Day. Over here we have a field of globe chamomile. Uh, it's all over the place right now. What can you tell us about the globe chamomile? It's not native to this area. It's introduced and it uh, chokes I'm sorry to out. interrupt you. Some of the subscribers said that you're very quiet, so can you please speak up? No, it's <laughs> not native to this area. It was introduced and it's choking everything out as you can see and it smells like garbage. <laughs> Thank <Literally> you. <laughs> smells like garbage. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Cheerful. <laughs> A couple of days ago uh, we came across some wolfberry bush. Uh, here is another one, one of many. Um, if you can see back there that it's another wolfberry bush that it's covered in um, berries. The, so if you eat one cup of wolf or goji berries, you're gonna get 400% of the daily requirement of vitamin A. Just a little fact. We have a lot of those rabbits around and this one is actually quite large, right? I don't think I've seen one that big. They're usually tiny. All right, let's, uh, do you have any information about the rabbits? Any interesting facts? They're good to eat. <laughs> Besides that, uh, unfortunately, um, every night we hear coyotes in the wash and I've put videos of that too, the coyotes or going bananas in the desert wash. And usually that is because they're fighting over one of those rabbits. So, oh, that's so nice. There is always something interesting as soon as we walk out the door. I'm just gonna leave him alone. I wanna film him more, but I don't wanna scare him. He seems to be enjoying his afternoon snack. So that's just a little cottontail, but we have black-tailed jackrabbits around here with huge ears. Their ears act like radiators. They basically pump blood up into these great big ears, and then uh, their blood is air-cooled. That's how they survive in the hot summers down here. Thank you. And this over here is a cactus called Christmas Choya, and there is a car coming, so just bear with us for a second. Those little red berries that you see on there, they're edible. However, they have what are called glochids that are little spines that are really nasty. As a matter of fact, uh, prickly pear cactus and the like with glochids on them. It's uh, rumored that the Spaniards, conquistadors, what have you, came and they uh, gorged themselves on that food. Didn't realize you had to burn that stuff off and they actually choked to death some of them. There is another brittle bush and another little rabbit. They're out eating today. And not much to say here because the dogs are barking like crazy, but it's just such a beautiful shot with the sunset, the cacti, there is a balloon right over the cactus, and then this. It's quite pretty. Look at all the quails running across the road. <laughs> They're so cute when they have babies and the babies are running after them as well. Look at them. And all these cacti over here, that is the teddy bear jumping choya, but I think we're gonna do a whole separate video because there is a lot to say about those guys. And that is what they look like when they die. Makes a nice artwork piece.
and these are the evening sounds of nature's and the end of day three. I'll see you tomorrow guys. Stay safe. Bye.